This is what happens when you get bitten by an 80s mosquito that carries the dengue virus. The virus enters your bloodstream and starts to quickly multiply, leading to viremia, which means that there's a high level of dengue virus in your body. It's a disease that normally starts just with a bad headache and bone ache. But what can happen later on is you start to bleed and people will bleed from places like their gums and so on. In very severe cases, people end up with basically a form of shock that's driven by blood loss, which is called hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome, and this is what kills people. At the moment, there isn't a cure yet for dengue. But scientists are close to finding it. And the answer may be found in our own body. I'm Paul McCarry. I'm the director of the Life Sciences Institute at the National University. And the focus of my research is on antibodies and antibody-related technology. For the past decade, Associate Professor McCarry and his team have been trying to find a cure for dengue fever by looking into the body's own immune system. The immune system is the most powerful weapon that we have to help fight human disease. And a superstar of our immune system are antibodies. They are proteins in our body that bind to foreign invaders like viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, and destroy them. In 2012, McCary and his team screened hundreds of millions of antibodies taken from patients who had recently recovered from dengue. They were looking for the most powerful antibody against the dengue virus. The way that we make human antibodies is to go to the cellular sources of antibodies, which are called B lymphocytes, or B cells, as they're often called, the principal source of antibodies in our blood. So you've got literally millions of B cells in your blood, each making a slightly different type of antibody. That's the technical challenge right there. It's how you isolate and screen all of those B cells to identify the tiny number, the one in a million, that's got the specificity that you want, which is, in this case, dengue. In 2012, McCary's team successfully isolated an antibody from a patient at a National University Hospital. It was so potent that just a little bit of it was able to kill the dengue virus in a few hours. Well, we initially just thought it was an outlier. Maybe we'd made a mistake, and that's why repeat, repeat, repeat. But when it kept coming through as being super potent, then it was clear that this was a, a real thing, and that is exactly the kind of antibody that we were looking for. The next step to grow this dengue virus-killing antibody. So this is our incubator growing human cells, which we use to produce antibodies. Inside this bottle is the human cells growing our antibodies and they are floating cells, that's why they have to be shaken in the incubator. So this machine helps us collect our antibodies from the mixture that we see here. Now, after running it through the machine, we actually get the antibodies in this tube over here. And we've now made kilograms of this material and we're moving towards the clinical trials. This dengue-killing antibody has been licensed and clinical trials are expected to begin in 18 to 24 months. What we're trying to do is create new products where the therapy is delivered at the polyclinic, where you'll get a point-of-care diagnostic and then there'll be a therapy that comes off the shelf that can be injected into you that basically kills the virus within six hours. And then you can be sent home safe in the knowledge that you're not going to be a source of infection for the rest of your family and so on. So this is what we've been working on now for about 10 years with dengue and we're getting close. <laughs>